This is Torquemada's villa. A few days ago, I was able to sneak in past the side gate. However, looks like Borgia must have sent more men to protect him. This won't be easy. When is it ever? Right. Follow me. Children, why do you bring so much death to my home? You desecrate a house devoted to the peace of God. You claim your peace. First you must answer for the innocents that were burned in your inquisition. You hypocrite! I kill for the greater good of this nation. Do you not claim to do the same? People cannot be forced to conform. They must make decisions for themselves. These people you speak of are too ignorant to know what's good for them. If we do not force them to conform, there will never be peace. And is that why you follow Borgia? Do his Templar schemes promise you that peace? Rodrigo Borgia and those ignorant Templars, they care not for my cause. I know what they seek, this piece of Eden. They shall not have it, and neither shall you. Send them to the fire. May God have mercy on their souls. I have no qualms with you, sir. But if you do not release us, I will have to kill you. He's going to the garden. It's your wait! Stop him!
Where is Tomas? Is he dead? No. Fool. Leave him be. But he must be killed. No. Killing him will only bring more evil than good. Without this, Borgia will lose all interest in him and will stop offering military support. He has no reason to hunt us anymore. But he will kill us for spite. Without his protection, he will fear our blade too much. He will regret this decision in the end. In my eyes, he is no more of a threat. He is innocent. What is the first tenet of our creed? To stay our blade from the flesh of an innocent, but I think you're stretching it a bit too far. Perhaps, but this is my country. My men cannot afford an enemy like King Ferdinand or Queen Isabella. Ezio, you said you came here to help us, and you did, but do not undo your work. not here. What? Are you sure you went to the right place? Yes. The Templars must have found it first. What now? We failed. Come pick me up. First you must, must find, find my armor. armor. It is imperative that it not fall into the hands of the Templars. Raphael, hurry up. I have one last idea. Isabella, why am I not surprised? So they sent you to find me. Are you going to show me the same mercies you did ten years ago? No. I'm afraid I cannot. I was surprised. When they sent me to your little fortress, I thought for sure you'd recognize me. But it seems you've been a busy man and have had no time for old friends. Now I finish what I should have. across the Mediterranean, and you shall never find it again. Thank you. 
We need to go to Italy. Italy? There's one last thing the Templars may be looking for. Might be looking for? If they have the fleece, what else do they need? Not what they need, what they fear. Long ago, our ancestors built a suit of armor unlike anything ever made by man. They wanted it hidden from the Templars at all costs. If they knew about it, they'd be looking for it as well. It's the only thing that can rival the fleece in ability. Do you have any idea where we need to look? Italy's not a small place. I have an idea. Shepard, I need to find something. What is it? I'm looking for a set of armor built by one of our ancient Grand Masters. You mean Altair? Yes, how did you... Lucy's team just reported in the database. Considering the contents of your search, I looked into it. And? Well, Lucy claims the armor was destroyed in the siege of Montorigioni when the Villa Auditory was demolished by Cesare Borgia. However, when looking into the excavation notes on the Villa, I stumbled across this quote. A strange armor similar to the segmented style of Roman Lorica Segmentata has been found amongst the ruins of the roof. I am beside myself in its preservation, considering the destruction that surrounds it. Reports claim that shortly thereafter, the late archaeologist mysteriously died but not before he mailed one last item to his home in Rome. The armor? Well, amongst his findings, none in any museum archives claim a suit of armor similar to that description. Odds are, he's going to keep it to himself. So where is it now? Well, it appears the family never knew the worth of the package. All of the archaeologists' personal findings were delivered to a warehouse in Rome and since have remained there. Well, looks like I'm going to need a ticket to Rome. I thought you might.